As with many RPGs, Cyberpunk 2077 story is enhanced by the characters players can interact with, and the relationships that can be built, with players' choices even leading to in-game romances. In the case of Cyberpunk 2077, there were four main romanceable options, with a male V able to seduce Pan Am Palmer, a nomad from the Aldicado family, and Johnny Silverhand's former bandmate, Carrie Uridine, and a female V able to date the hacker Judy Alvarez, and former NCPD detective River Ward. As suggested above, Cyberpunk 2077 already restricted its romance options depending on the gender that players chose when they built their version of V, only offering one male and one female option. Despite this, one player, Adu364, has found a way to date all four at the same time. In a video shared on Reddit, both Carrie and Judy can be seen on the couch in V's apartment, with Pan Am and River standing to one side, clipping through each other. Cyberpunk 2077's polyamorous date is a bug and will probably be patched out. Developer CD Projekt Red has added several new features over the years that build upon Cyberpunk 2077's romances, including new messages and a new recurring quest in which players could meet their love interest outside of the main campaign. This side quest, I Really Want to Stay at Your House, was introduced in December 2023 as part of the game's Surprise 2.1 update and saw players contact Pan Am, Judy, Carrie or River and invite them to one of their apartments across the city. The option to be polyamorous with all four characters is not an official feature, however, and appears as a bug in the game that may get patched out in the future. Addu364 stated that this only occurred when their V hangs out with Carrie in the Glen apartment and that while the other three romanceable characters all appear in the apartment too, the dialogue and interaction options are only for Carrie. The Cyberpunk 2077 community has noted how limited some of the romances were in the game, with characters being locked off from the start, and any addition to the relationship outside of the main campaign being added post-launch and not being as fleshed out as some would like. Hopefully with features such as Hangouts now included in the game, CD Projekt Red will look to expand upon this with more romance options in its confirmed sequel, Project Orion.